What is up, Elon holders? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at you with the latest and the greatest on the Dog Elon Mars token, and we know that is gonna be ticker symbol Elon. Before we get into it, I gotta let you know I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is financial advice, just giving you my opinion. Definitely do drop a big like on this video to help the promotion with the Doggle on Mars project help us get off to Mars that much faster. And do consider subscribing to stay up to date on cryptocurrency news and all things Doggle on Mars. And to win amazing NFTs every single week right on this channel, you can head right on over uh, and check them out for yourself. I do have links in the description or you can be subscribed and comment on my giveaway video. I actually just did one recently and I will be doing one here very soon. So before we get into it too, I wanna give a big shout out as I do have uh, two new members, Malcolm Lee the third and Captain Brad X. I wanna give a big shout out to you guys. This video is dedicated to you because I, without you, this channel doesn't isn't even possible. So I appreciate all the support and every, every one of you guys that are watching right now, I really wanna show appreciation. And I wanna just let you know, um, also, happy Mother's Day. If there are any mothers watching this, I want to give a big happy Mother's Day out to you guys. And yes, thank you very much for your support and for being mothers. All right, let's get into the video. It is currently, Dog on Mars is currently ranked 120 right now. Not bad. Looks like uh, trading on a pretty nice volume. It's up 35.75% uh, to the $22.8 million traded over the last 24 hours. Now, looking at our price, that is pretty unfortunate. It has taken a pretty, pretty nice beating, but that is probably the case across the entire market. If we take a look, I mean, look at this. This is just a sea of red with uncertainty in the market right now. And to watch to the end, and I'm going to explain to you why. But first, let's get into a little bit of data. Let's see how our holders have held up wow it doesn't look like anybody's jumping ship too much I, at least not in in the major droves because we are still raising in our holder count that is very very amazing what we want to see it looks like 41 percent of people in the money right now not bad it's not as bad as it could be but i'm sure a lot of people have dollar cost average have gotten in at very low positions were in the money for a long time so that that is good to see and we do know that uh we are going to be having an NFT drop very soon. Uh, the Dogalon Martians actually dropped today. I want to get that in here before you guys um, miss that. But look, we have the Dogalon Martian NFT drop going to be today. We got an official announcement today that the mint is going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern time. That means that that is going to be 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, and yeah, so not one of them has been minted yet, but I'm sure there are a lot of people itching to mint one of these. So I want to give a big shout out to that and make sure that that does not get missed. So let's take a look at the Elon chart right now. I mean, boy, this is looking pretty bloody. It's not, it's, we have uh, gotten out of this channel. That is pretty unfortunate. I mean, yeah, but it does still appear to be forming the still same pattern on the uh, one day chart yeah this is the one day chart but it does look like we are going to need to establish a new a new support level because this is kind of a bummer that we have broke below this level here so i mean if it looks like we are still supported still supported but our, our support is a lot lower it looks like we do have a support in the six zeros six five seven range which is a key level of support that we do not want to break through and um it the market is gonna go in directions that we have no idea i mean we can read the charts all day until we're blue in the face but the macroeconomic uncertainty is definitely going to have a, a big impact on both markets the stock market and the crypto market we are creeping into oversold territory right now and uh macd is trading pretty flat so um it can be this thing could it could get uh, pretty brutal. That's why I want to let you know that uh, with the entire market right now, it can get very uncertain. And if you are already at a loss, I would definitely not advise selling. I mean, uh, because you don't really take any any loss until you sell, and that is when you concrete your loss. Until then, it's just moving up and down. 
Um, so I just want to let that be known. And yeah, that let's get into the detail today. Crypto uh, Investor Observer gives this cryptocurrency an 81 on the short term technical and an 82. We know my last video, this the short term was getting hammered. So I mean, look at that. That is a very accurate score, which means that uh, Elon is uh, gets a score of 81 and is more bullish than 81 percent of cryptocurrencies right now. So there is a silver lining. 82% same thing 82% of cryptos on the investor observer so it it has a more attractive chart for the long term than 82% of cryptos right now it does look like we have 173.82 million traded over the last week and as we know 22.8 million traded over the last day and the entire market it i mean absolutely everything is pretty much blood red there are a few that have held but i'm as far as holding in this market, Elon has done a tremendous job. I just want to let that be known. I truly do feel that Elon has done an amazing job. So, yes, let's get on over to why the cryptocurrency markets are down today. And there's a few reasons. There are going to be a few reasons right here. And let's get into it. Cryptocurrencies have been especially volatile lately. And there are a few reasons why. Twitter's chief financial officer, Ned Siegel, said at the end of last year that investing in crypto doesn't make sense right now, causing concern among some Silicon Valley buyers. Now, we know that there is always somebody saying this and always somebody opposing. You got to do your research. The answer lies somewhere in the middle. So I wouldn't let anything stir you up. China also announced plans to clean up virtual currency mining, according to CNBC. Many crypto mining regions in China are now radically reducing operations. Previous moves by the country to crack down on mining and trading of crypto has previously sent markets plunging, and we know that. I mean, geez, that was all last year. And the unrest in Eastern Europe has contributed to the fall because investors tend to shun risk-sensitive assets during uncertain times. And yes, I mean, this is huge. The war in Ukraine is definitely having a, a huge impact right now but not only that we do know tomorrow is going to be uh, a national holiday in russia known as victory day and the way that the war is turning right now we really have no idea what can be done right now um and it is a very uncertain time um but this is uh this is a day that represents when they uh had one in world war ii this is their representing their victory in world war ii so um it is a big patriotic holiday that uh depending on how the war goes i mean it could have um it definitely could have an impact they we don't know what could be happening in the world right now uh i don't know if i explain that well but that is basically the gist of it so uh, again, I want to give you guys a big happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys are having a great day with your family and uh, just enjoying life. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.